he would escape. What the hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. Hey fiends, welcome back to Bloody Disgusting. I am Vanessa Decker, and this evening we are here for a movie that after 40 years still holds up as one of the greatest horror movies of all time. We are here for the premiere of Halloween. Ugh, holy hell, I am like so excited to be here and I'm like totally ready for me and Jamie Lee Curtis to be best friends already. I mean, is that so hard to ask? Or exchange a few high fives with the shape. <laughs> but before we get all into that fun, let's see who we can catch up with before the movie. Eee! Describe the film in one word. I know you're in a hurry. Awesome. I love you, by the way. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Scary. What do you see for the future of like Halloween? As far as, <laughs> is that too, too much? No, <laughs> too soon? No, no. Now we'll see, we'll really know that Monday or Tuesday. So you'll see the ads after this weekend. But we're planning on a future and we're hoping for one too. No. So when you see it, well, I'll spoiler alert. But yes, yeah, so, you know, they win. Uh, but it's unresolved about Michael Myers. Uh, and so it's uh, a fantastic David Gordon Green ending, too, that uh, resolves and, and has a sense of justice fulfilled, but leaves open the possibility that things must still be done. And how was it working with David and Danny McBride and a unique, a Jason unique, Blum. A unique, uh, a unique uh, collaborative uh, uh, pleasure, uh, and uh, because uh, scholars, they're film scholars of a genre, uh, students, and uh, want to uh, want to win, and want to have what we're having here tonight, something that everybody really wants to see. That's the objective, you know, to entertain, you know, at this powerful level you know, in a mass level. Yeah, and get the, you're the core, bloody disgusting, so important. So yes, we hope you like it. But what was your favorite candy as a kid for Halloween? Heath bars. Uh, really? <laughs> what about still to this day? Yes, still, I mean, yeah, when I eat candy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> Okay, no, I saw an interview with you with everybody with the name tags. We are Laurie Strode. That killed me and the emotion behind it. Who was it that did that? Was it was it David? No, I think the AD did that. We had a very special AD. It was emotional, right? Well, I love caressing your little face. Just hold my little face. They did that because I was about to climb in the car and relive 40 years of trauma by myself. And my crew were saying to me, we know what you're about to do, and we love you, and we're with you. The movie kills me, obviously. I'm a horror fan, but also as women everywhere, you are a sensational woman. What is your favorite horror film, if you were to pick one? I mean, I know that's so stupid. Halloween. <laughs> Nothing from my mute companion. High five. What about a strangle? No? Yes? <laughs> What did you feel was different as far as what you had did back in 1978 versus today, which is like, what, 40 years later? I mean, it's like bananas, right? <laughs> totally bananas, totally crazy. I, yeah, you know, that was kind of like natural. We're doing a movie with my buddies. So that was like coming out of film school, doing more film school stuff. This is like, you know, it wasn't a big budget. Obviously, they did it on a, on a, on a modest budget, but this was, you know, was a, uh, a, a filmmaker that it had, you know, has, I don't know, I looked on his IMDb page, David, David already has like 30, mo 30 movies and TV shows, he, he's crazy. So, no, I'm talking about David, not, not no, no, this guy as well, by the way. But, but, but it, it's a total different experience. But you, yeah, you and, because you and John Carpenter went to film school together, correct? University of Southern California. It's exciting. Yes. We went back there, as a matter of fact, a couple of weeks ago, and we realized it was 50 years ago that we met each other. That is insane. There we, were, there we were on the stage talking to other students and going, oh my God. So this is the lesson you got, all got to learn. 
meet someone like John Carpenter who's that talented, hold on to his, you know, <laughs> tail and, uh, and go forward. Nick and I had, we're in one scene together and then I do the rest. So, and we, and he passed the, the torch to me in the opening, the first time Jamie, the first time Laurie Strode sees the shape is when she sees Nick. But then in that very same scene, it's me, the next, the next, the next angle. So, and from that point forward, it was all me. And, and so what I did was, I watched the original and I just, all I did was, I didn't think, it wasn't an intellectual study. What I did was I watched Nick as the shape in the original and I, and I just embraced his energy, like I felt his energy in me. And there was a moment when he was in the, walking in the backyard, camera left to camera right, he was walking across the backyard and I went, I got it, I got it. Nick was in me. And so all I did for, for the rest of it was I just embraced that energy that Nick had created and so it, Nick and I co-created my character, and this is the first time I've ever done this. It's like this is amazing. Like we co-created what I did, and it was freaking awesome. On this movie, this guy goes after her, and she goes after him. It's a mano on womano. Let me tell you something. That man. Would be called. And I got to tell you, in this age of, of, of empowering females, this woman is is a someone a woman to look at and go, damn it, I want to be her. And she and when we fought, she dude, I had a tiger by the tail man she's tough as nails she's brilliant she's kind she's compassionate she's spiritual and she is tough as freaking nails man I mean I if, if the women in the planet are like her then this planet's got no problems that's all I got My horror fiends and that is a wrap for the Los Angeles premiere of Halloween. Ugh, that was so much fun. But uh, until then, uh, have a frightfully good rest of your week and I will see you guys soon. Bye.